Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode one of Wonderful Pretty Cure. Okay, I have been waiting for the last, like, good two, maybe almost three hours, because it's like 10.36 at night, and of course, you know, your girl's gotta go to work tomorrow, unfortunately, um, for this. There was a moment where I was like, I, if you follow me on Twitter and such, that I had posted, okay, um... If I should watch the episode already, because the Crunchyroll version version was already out and such, and so I was waiting for the other version to come out, um, and just wait for that to come out, release the reaction, boom, get it over and done with, or if I should wait. And so finally, after like literally just finished eating and stuff, it finally came out. But I am super excited for this. But I think just for now, until we get more established for it, of course it's gonna have to come out tomorrow. If I did not have to work on Sundays, I would have gotten this out for you, like, ASAP, possibly would have been in an hour or Sunday morning, but just for now, until they, more of the, the subs, if they come out earlier, then you can get it earlier, but of course, just like, the same thing happened with Hirogato. We've, we've been through this song and dance for, like, the last couple of years with, subbing these shows and stuff so psh, it ain't gonna change no time soon but other than that let's go to get started with episode one in three two one go okay that was different look at oh! <gasps> Look at her! <laughs> Hi, cutie. See, that's kind of Cody in the mornings, but Cody is just like... Oh, Cody don't do that. My thing is, like, you know, when she turns into a human, what is she going to explain to her parents? You know, be like, hey, who is this little girl? And they're like, mm. Because you can't say cousin. Okay, that could be a reason because I didn't see that in the other. Mm. Well, because I didn't watch it, but it's cute that they added that.
that was a weird cut, but okay. I love the fact that her dad is wearing an apron. It's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Good girl. See, it's funny how, you know, Iroha is literally Anya. She's just an older Anya. Look at baby. She's trying to run. Oh, my God. Oh, look at her. Oh. <laughs> Cody, when I leave to go to work. Be good. Good girl. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Mm, let me go. Uh. <laughs> no. Baby. Oh. I know, I know. She'll be back. Cody, literally my dog. <laughs> that is my mom. I'm like, yeah, you wanna play a Vico? <laughs> my dog be like, no. No, I mean, no, baby. Not the sheep. No! No. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. Get a baby. I know. Yeah, that's what you want. Like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, she's home, thank god. All right, let's go. Oh, there he is. Oh, and with his bunny.
Maybe something might come through it. You know, the sheet, possibly. Yeah. Oh, so then this stone's definitely going to be used for when, when she transforms. It, it's possibly going to light up, because come on now. Yeah, but it's cute, though. It is cute that we are getting another season of a couple, kind of, but we'll talk more about it at the end because, yeah, I'm going to try not to make this too, too long. You ain't going to get a 55-minute video, but you all get something that's long. No, no, I can't. <gasps> There's the eye catch! <laughs> That's cute. Ah, so she's going to be the owner of Pretty Holic. Kid, she's not sure about that. Really? Then what were you doing, honey? <sighs> I already love them both. Yeah. No, I don't touch it. This is just going to be me every single week freaking over an animal and just being like probably crying over something. Like, oh my god, that's a puppy! Oh my god, that's a kitty! <laughs> hmm? Oh. That has to be the pact. It, it does, definitely, but I think it is supposed to be, you know, the equivalent of their sweets bag, you know? Uh-oh. Whoa, all the dogs going, oh, look at it. Oh. It, 
the big sheep. Okay. Really more like a ram. No, don't get scared. Oh, baby. You stay here. No. She agile, I'll give you that. Baby, we already got a makings of her pretty here, even though it ain't her episode yet. <laughs> I love the animals in the background. That's cute. Bye, oh my Girl, baby, that's your dog. <laughs> that is your dog. <laughs> I'm surprised she is not doing, you know, the typical norm of, oh, my God, like, jumps in the air and be like, oh, my God, I'm flying.
I mean, that's a dog for you. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go, baby. Our monster of the week got defeated by a hug. That's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Be like, you my dog? Yeah, pa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Be like, how do I explain this? <laughs> Be like, yeah, how do I explain this to everybody? Oh my god. Okay, no. Like, first initial thoughts. This was a cute first episode. I mean, seriously. Any first episode for Pretty Cures in a Nutshell is always, like, in my opinion, the best episode. Now, the one thing is, she's super adorable. How, like, cute. I love the fact that, you know, initially when we saw like the peaks and like the sneaks and sneaks i can't speak the sneak peeks the leaks and everything else and how at first we all thought you know itaha was going to be the pink one but no it's the dog and you know now we all making memes so the whole year is going to be nothing but dog memes and cat memes for this series and it was funny because earlier in the day there was one meme that i saw it was like the first pretty here and it showed um care black and then our current a dog and i was like you know somebody who never really watches this show or wants to get into it the first thing they're going to question is why is the newest pretty here a dog but i i love that idea i think that's a really interesting idea because we've never really seen that before yeah we've seen mascots become pretty cares but we've never really had an animal become a pretty care and that just tells you in 2024 or really just in the next couple of years they're wanting to do different things and establish different things my my biggest thing going into this one especially coming out of hirogato so just very still once again recently hold on so cute oh my god literally there's a thread that i um i bookmarked on my twitter page on how to do it but it's like so down in my history that i have to look and who knows about the time but 
Um, one thing I will say, the the short, uh, I mean, not the short, the transformation was short. I think it is officially now the shortest transformation sequence that we've ever had for this series. Um, I mean, I think, you know, and I'm going to say this, like, Hirogato did us in, in good. I mean, because there was some long, beautiful transformations. And then we're getting something like, I feel like it had to be under, what, 26 seconds, maybe even 15. But I'm not saying that to be bitter and angry about it. The transformation sequence is really cute, very adorable. I love the animals in the background. Um, the wonderful pack is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Would love to get that if I really... If I could get my my hands on it and stuff, I do love the middle. The middle kind of gives me very much like you know how um for Sailor Moon, uh pretty much any of her compacts where it's like the Imperium Silver Crystal in the middle, it that's what it's literally giving back to, and I think that's really cute, and it almost pays homage to it because it's the same company who you know animates Sailor Moon, animating this, um, but I, I mean seriously, baby it is. The cute little thing. I love her in dog form and human form. It does make me wonder if it's kind of limited to her human form and her dog form. Like, she can only stay as a human for a certain amount of time. And then, poof, she turns back into a dog um, and such. The other two cures, a.k.a. the cat and the girl who's very much an introvert, very shy driven, um... They both seem interesting, too. I know everybody said has pre has predominantly said those two are their personal faves. I got to kind of go say that, too. Even though with these two, it is, you know, um, Kana from, you know, uh, freaking Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragon, and it's Anya from Spy Family, and that is, that's a duo. That is, like, literally the best thing ever, and I love the fact that those two are in something together. That I think that was my biggest wish for, like, the last couple of years. And, you know, it, it's funny that it was pretty cute, but I love the fact that it's coming true. Um, I think my my one little take... No, I got two. I got two. And this is something that we talked about in Hanogato. Um, So, one of the issues that I kind of kind of have now, especially for the preview of the next episode, um, and everybody was really excited about this and such... They're going back to the regular traditions of one cure, then the next cure, and then so on and so forth until we get our four, and then eventually until we get our final. Um, I would have liked it if we got several weeks to establish Cure Wonderful as a solo person, as a solo character, her doing stuff by herself, Iroha there with her, and then eventually coming into her being cure-friendly, Instead of it being like episode one, wonderful, episode two, friendly, and let's say episode seven and eight, you know, Yuki and her human and such, which could still possibly happen. They could, they could still literally do the duo thing with these two for a couple of weeks and then bring in the next group and such and so on and so forth. Um, but whatever they decide to do, I'm still going to be happy and, you know, satisfied with it. Now, the other thing is, um, the guy who has a crush on Iroha. Now, if he is the final one, um, I'm not mad at it. It was something that, as I said with last week's of finale, last week's finale of Hidogato, where I wanted them to continue that new tradition of having guys now officially be pretty curious and stuff. Um, because somebody was looking at the the um their emblem and such and the colors. So, you know, for wonderful and friendly you have pink and blue, I mean, pink and purple. And for the other two, you have, I think, a teal color and a greenish color to, you know, emphasize like a blue and a green. And the last two colors that were there was sort of a gold and a silver, maybe almost like an orange in a way. And because they're the only other two people who are in that picture with these other two, with their animals and such, it is kind of really going in their favor that these two are going to be the final cures and stuff and that they're making this series more um more friendly for guys and stuff or for little boys and everything which I do love because that was something I 
really wanted Aikatsu to do, but Aikatsu really never did that, but Pretty Pata did. And so it seems like, I think because Pretty Pata has once again been so popular throughout the years, I mean, like, that series is now celebrating, I think it's 20th anniversary with a new anime, finally. <laughs> We're just waiting for Aikatsu to do the same thing, because, you know, your live action things, they didn't work, mama. So, you know, let, let's go ahead and reverse that and go back to anime. I'm just saying. Um... With Pretty Potter, Pretty Potter, I think, had boys in it. I think especially Wonder... Uh, no. Um, the the one with Yui that still featured everybody from, like, the OG series of Pretty Potter. Um, that one. I Idol Time Pretty Potter. There we go. Um, that featured boys. And so I was like, I do love the fact that we're finally getting guys into this series and such. And they're not playing, like, a secondary role to the girls, like, don't get me wrong, like, yes, I love when I see, I, I love to see animes that really feature, like, a girl, a female protagonist and stuff, and doing things that she loves, whether that's something with makeup, um, singing, magical girl, act, anything that, you know, me as a girl can once again relate to at the end of the day. But I do like it when animes are really, especially magical girl animes, or anything that is, like, ridiculously girly, um, trying to branch out and also get their boy audience and stuff because I think there are a lot of boys um as far as I know even maybe even little boys who all sit and watch their show with this show with their mom dad whoever brother sisters and stuff like that and so it really would be interesting to see that and such plus we also talked about the situation of the cure wing um costume and stuff and the fact that the kid was crying over the fact of not having a costume for Wing, but they had a costume for everybody else. And because so many people talked about it, Toei, you know, officially announced, okay, in November, boom, it, he's getting a costume and such, which is nice. So once again, like, your Wing is also paid in that way. Um, But no, yeah, the first episode was really sweet. I love the fact that it did give me, you know, my regular OG fist to fist combat, but also like her just jumping around like she's in a freaking dog show and it's just freaking adorable as hell and such. But I do love this dynamic that, you know, we're not into something that is not like we're in a pre-established relationship. Unlike the thing of Sora and Mashido, which of course I miss them so much. I miss my babies like Oh, every year. It's always like that. I always miss the previous group so freaking much. Um, but I love the fact that these two are pre-established, that we have something with them, and it's not, oh, someone coming in from another world, and then da 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 because we've seen that kind of the last couple of years um, with it. I think, once again, Kirogato did, like, the best, in my opinion, for having a relationship where it's like, oh, from two different worlds, and da 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 and we're coming to visit, but... I think this is going to be something a lot of people are going to relate to. Not only, like, kind of the same thing with Healing Good, because Healing Good also dealt with pets in a little way, but not as much as I think this is going to deal with and, and everything. And I feel like we're going to see a lot of interactions with, like, you know, animals and, you know, people possibly putting their dogs up or cats up and be like, yeah, watch the episode and stuff. And just being like, oh, my God, here's my dog, here's my cat, here's my hamster. I'm ready to see, like pictures of animals like different types of pets every single week depending on how this is going to go because since this is only episode one and because of the fact is due to the Crunchyroll version and this version of course I'm probably going to be seeing the Crunchyroll version a lot more um but I don't think I have anything else really truly to say it was a damn good first episode super adorable I, I love the fact that with the dream sequence that she had, even when she was having the nightmare and she was trying to run after her, of course, she'd do the dog thing or the running. I, I mean, seriously, Cody, you can't see. Well, my dog is not on the bed. He must have hopped down. I'm guessing. Um, Cody does that a lot. And it's super freaking cute. But I get scared because I'm like, oh, my God, like, are you okay? But it's super adorable. Like, I, I cannot. It, it's cute. I love it so freaking much, like, my baby. So, you'll probably, it's probably going to be 48, 49 episodes of me talking about my dog. So, be ready to hear, <laughs> to hear that. A whole year of Queen DJ literally talking about her dog. The best videos of all time. <laughs> 
But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode one of Wonderful Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all either... I'm still going to say Sunday because we won't really know until next week. But for now, we're just going to say Sunday mornings um, for episodes two to whatever. But if there is ever a time where um, the subs are very come out early, if they come out a little bit earlier than what they did with this, because I get it first episode, duh. Um, I should have expected that, but I kind of forgot. Um, then I will get them out on Saturday. If it comes to a point where it's like 9 or 10 o'clock going on 11 like it is now, then I'll just have it come out on Sunday. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.